game over. Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. This is Matthew 2, Definitive City Edition, and this is going to be chapter 15, the final chapter of the story. And this is per Asperia, per Astra, and this is going to be it for the final series of Mafia 2. If you like the video, please like, subscribe, share, and I'll catch you on the next one. Let's get it. Per Aspera, per Astra. I don't know what that means. Oyster Bay, September 26, 1951. I couldn't sleep. Things were bad. And they were only going to get worse. The truth was going to come out sooner or later. And then we were going to have Falcone after us, along with the Chinese and Vinci. This wasn't how I imagined it when we were starting out. I dreamed of money, cars, women, respect, freedom. All the good stuff. I guess I ended up getting all that, more or less. But along with it came prison, living in constant fear, and the blood of my friends. I ducked it as long as I could, but it was finally catching up with me. It was all just a matter of time. Yeah. Men at work. Cool. Yeah, hello. Vito. Yeah, it's Eddie. Uh, listen, I need you to... Let me guess. You need me to come by right away, and I should bring a gun. For once, I don't. <laughs> yeah, Carla wants to see you over at the planetarium. Did he say what it was about? Nope. Uh, better head over there now, though. Uh, don't want to keep the man waiting. <laughs> yeah, see you, Vito. Hmm. Right, so before we do that, I'm just going to pause it a second when it's a toilet. I'll back in a second, then we'll head out to get dressed and head to Planetarium. Hmm, let's have a look how he looks in the Lincoln Clay jacket. <laughs> no, it doesn't really suit him. He's not got the build for it. Uh. Sunglasses, high school outfit, no. Red shirt and jacket, no. Biker clothes, no. Racing suit, no. Leather jacket with shirt, no. Casual wearing coat, no. Eh. We'll go out in a blast. I'm not, I've, I kind of remember what's happened. We're going to go dressed in tuxedo. Why not? <laughs> That's <laughs> the Scaletta. Can you get in, please? Hey, old man. What are you doing back? Just get in the damn car. Now. And you are? This is our friend, Mr. Chu. Oh. All right, so what the hell's going on? What is this? This is about you. You fucked up good, didn't you? Started a fucking war. Got no idea what you're talking Don't about. Don't fuck with me, boy. I've probably forgotten more about this business than you'll ever learn. Half our guys are dead. Half of Mr. Chu's guys are dead. And now the feds are breathing down everybody's necks. Because of you. Leo, listen. You listen. If it wasn't for me, you would have already been taken care of. So you're gonna listen to what I have to say, and you're gonna listen good. What you did in Chinatown. That was because of that cocksucker Henry, right? You know who he was working for when he died? You mean when he was butchered? He was working for the feds. He was a, a big glitch, fucking yeah. rat. That's why Mr. Chu's eyes. people did what they his did. Eyes are just like That's why the feds are going after Carlo now. But I don't forget my friends, Vito. You did for me, so I did for you. I called in a few favors. Got you one chance to make this right. Okay, I'm listening. You're gonna get rid of Carlo. It was all a favor. And if I refuse? You die. Frank and the rest of the commission want you dead. So does Mr. Chu. And to top it all off, you vouched for a rat. You think Carlo's gonna let that slide? You're a dead man walking. <sighs> when? Now. Every minute we wait is another minute we give to the feds. He's holed up at that observatory of his. 
You know, something's up. Carlo Falcone is a lot of things, but stupid ain't one of them. Okay. All right. Stop the car. Remember, kid, this is your last chance. I'll do it. If he gets us, me and Joe out of shit, I'll do it. Boldness. It is given to the organization by the press. Okay, could do the car. Not a single car on the street. Try and let this one. That can't be Get out of the car. Vehicle theft in progress. Copy that. See, this is what I like as well, the fact that he still keeps your like the target on, like on when you get cop chasing you on um on Mafia 3 it loses the uh, the objective. So you, you gotta wait until you lose the cop before actually able to head to the destination unless you get a rough idea of where it is on the map. How far we gotta go? Plus we want to see all the way. We've got a DLC to do with that. Everybody loves DLC. Well, the trilogy pack is bad as well. I mean, you're getting all three games: Mafia One, Two, and Three. I don't know why they remastered the the uh, our definitive edition remastered uh, Mafia Three because it was already pretty decent quality graphics. Stories are right, a bit long, a lot of uh, a lot of stuff to it. But you also get the DLCs free, so I already had Mafia Three as a standard anyway. I bought the trilogy, which gave me the DLCs for it, because DLCs were expensive anyway. I got the DLCs with this, Mafia 2, and then I also got Mafia 1 when it's released. So I just need to remember to download it when it actually uh, is released. And then that'll get all three Mafias, all the DLCs. It's not a bad, it's not a bad price for 50 quid, what, or 49.99. For three, three games. Good stories, mediocre driving, poor shooting on this one. I'm assuming it's just going to be just as bad, if not worse, on the first one because you're not trained, you're just a taxi driver. Um, so they said they wanted to make it um, a bit more realistic so you won't be as good at shooting and everything, which I think that's a crock. At the end of the day, people can improve the shooting. Hey, fellas. Hey, Vito. The boss wants to see you. Good. I want to see him, too. One, uh, one thing, though, Vito. I gotta take your gun. Yeah, all right. Here you go. <laughs> yeah, the moment you give that gun up. You were dead, man.
Tommy gun. I don't want that. I want that other Tommy gun. That's the one I want. With a drum mag. It's a lot better. Really? Wow, I didn't even hear him. Never mind, see him. <laughs> yeah. Really has. God damn it.
Let's again. Right, so we're just gonna run straight down. They're all dead men. Give a fan with a gun. And I've done it in a tux. <laughs> hey, boss. This is where they send? This is an insult. What'd they tell you, Vito? Take care of me and all's forgiven? <laughs> you really think they're just gonna let you walk after everything you did? Then again, chumps like you never do think about the big picture. But your buddy Joe understands, don't you, Joe? What the fuck is this? I could ask you the same question. Loyalty's a funny thing, huh, Vito? No such thing as friendship in this business. Didn't your old pal Leo teach you that while you're sucking his cock back in the can? <laughs> <laughs> you're just a fucking pawn, Vito. It's all you ever were. When are you gonna realize Joe, that? Joe, you just gotta trust me. You think I give a shit about the feds? All those tired old fucks on the commission? They're using you, Vito. Just like Clemente used you. Just like I used you. Just like that rat fuck Henry used you. You vouched for that piece of shit. Brought him into my house. And now, you dumb fuck, you're gonna pay for it. Now, Joe. Hey, if you're gonna pull that trigger, do it already. What are you waiting for? Vito. Let's shoot this cocksucker. Remember what we talked about, tree. Joe. You're gonna throw One, all that away? Two. Do it! Two. Now! Well, that way. Somebody kill these two psychos!
You dumb bastard, you don't stand a chance. You can't kill them all. It's fucking over! You really are insane, aren't you? I'm gonna enjoy watching you die. Man, you're a terrible fucking shot. There's only two of them! Another one bites the dust. Reminds Come me on, of my prohibition days. Grenade out. something Carlo for the last 10 years all I've done was kill I killed for my country I killed for my family I killed anybody that got in my way but this one this one's for me fuck <laughs> fucking prick yeah that's the way he's done boom stress the head I sure as hell hope you know what you're doing here. Don't worry, I took care of it. You'll see. So, uh, what was he talking about back there? Nothing. He made me an offer, that's all. Yeah, I figured out that much. What kind of offer? He wanted me to whack it. Said he'd make me a capo. Give me my own crew. You know, pretty much everything I ever wanted. Yeah? So why the hell didn't you do it? Remember that five bucks you owe me? <laughs> Now that's friendship. What the hell is this? It's all right, Joe. Is it done? It's done. All right, then. Looks like a celebration is in order. Come on. Let's head to the cat house. Sounds good to me. Come with me, Vito. There's more we need to talk about. All right, we'll see you over there. So what's the big secret? Hey, 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 what the hell's going on? Where are they taking Joe? Sorry, kid. Joe wasn't part of our deal. Seriously? Really? Really? Ugh.
And that's it. They drive off. Tough not. And that's going to be it for this entire series of Mafia 2 Definitive Edition on PlayStation 4. Really enjoyed this series. The way they uh, remastered the graphics on it. Really enjoyed the story of the Rise of Vito. Uh, coming back from the war and um, rising his way through the ranks of the Mafia. Yeah, I really, I really have enjoyed this series. If you enjoyed the series, please like, subscribe and share. And we'll catch you on the next one. Whatever that may be. Peace. Game over.